I want to talk to you about that strike itself because we have new information on the offer presented to the union by Ottawa yesterday. What have we learned, Mac? Yeah, Farah, the Treasury Board announced this afternoon that the offer that they presented to the Public Service and Alliance of Canada yesterday was their final offer. Now, they wouldn't give any specific details, but they did say they presented an enhanced wage offer, which is one of the key sticking points on this strike. Another one of the big issues, working from home, which was also touched on. And the Feds also made it pretty clear, Farah, that they think there should be a vote from the 155,000 members who were out on strike on whether or not they should take this deal. Now, the union said they've received the offer, and again, they're not commenting on how the negotiations Negotiations are going or what's in it. But by labeling this the final offer from the Freds, it certainly does increase the probabilities that if the union doesn't accept it, the Liberals could bring in back to work legislation. And if that happens, the former clerk of the Privy Council believes the House of Commons would pass it. It would be surprising and, and somewhat shocking if the Conservatives use this to trigger an unnecessary $600 million June election. So I think we can expect that back to work legislation will pass. Now, the Liberals have been clear that legislating the striking public servants back to work is their last resort. And it does seem like there is some hope that a deal can get done because both sides far are still negotiating through the full weekend. And we'll be watching very closely. Thank you for that. Mackenzie Gray in Ottawa.